and SpaceX are going to try again tonight to launch a special satellite that could one day help put an end to a problem that we deal with here in South Florida. Algae blooms, that's one of them, right? Red tide, another. Take a look. Space is going to see the Earth in a way they have never seen before in so many different colors. And I'm just hoping that, you know, like, this data is going to get to everybody and help them understand how beautiful our home planet is. That would be nice. The PACE launch, it was scrubbed overnight because of weather. NASA says once the satellite is in orbit, it will allow scientists to better study large bodies of water and pollutants. You guys in this area know bad. I mean, you have the, the cyanobacterial blooms, the blue-green algae blooms in Lake Okeechobee, and on the other side, you get red tides um, both, both sides of Florida. So you've been kind of hit from both like freshwater side and, and, and the ocean side. Understanding where, when these booms are happening in early stage, um, you know, they can really, really help a local health, uh, like help local economy and so much more. And that's what PACE is going to be able to do. This isn't the first time that NASA has done something like this, but scientists say this newer technology is 20, maybe even 30 times better than some of those older versions. Based on the different shades of the blue and the imaging that you're looking at right there, they can actually get an idea of what is going on in the water and predict environmental issues. They expect to start collecting and sharing data about two months into the mission. They say the new satellites have enough fuel to collect data for over a decade. Get that